Hello world. What I have today are some various lockpick sets that I have collected over the years. It's been an interesting hobby. I've been into it maybe about 20 years now. And uh, I got into it just reading online, going on forums. This was all before YouTube. And I remember coming across a guy named Barry Wells, who is from the Netherlands. And I think he was one of the founders of Tool.nl. And he had a bunch of old talks that he did that were uploaded on an obscure website, downloaded them, and I remember picking my first lock, and then I was hooked. And then now, I mean, YouTube's got real popular, there's all kinds of people, but to me, it was Bari, who was one of the original people online, or that was on the original talks, that introduced people to lock picking as a hobby, as a sport. And I really feel that, uh, you know, credit should be due to him. And then, of course, a lot of people in the U.S. picked up. There's YouTube channels dedicated to lockpicking. Uh, but look up Barry Wells. He was one of the originals. Um, he does some really good talks, or at least he used to in the early 2000s. And these are just various tool pick sets that I've picked up throughout the years. One that was interesting is Kevin Mitnick had a business card. And it was a lockpick set. It's a pretty cool concept. He would give these out at his talks. He would sell them online. Unfortunately, the steel is just too thin. So it's not really that functional. But a few years later, this was at the Last Hope conference. And Tool.us, they introduced this lockpick set. It's much thicker. And uh, this one's actually quite functional. I bought a couple, one of them I used, and this one I just kept just as a novelty. Came with this case. The Last Hope pick set. Before that, Barry Wells introduced this pick set. This was actually in made exclusively for Hope Number no. 6. It was just a uh, three two-sided picks and two tensioners of various sizes. This kit is special to me because I got these from Barry himself. I traded him a few locks and this was years after they stopped making these and he gave me his set so quite special to me because he's one of I feel the one of the people that really got me into this. And then Tool.us really got popular. I'm really glad for that. They started releasing their own picks. So it started with the Last Hope pick set, which was quite useful. And during that same conference, they released another pick set that were these two-sided tensioners. It's the same design with the little slots. I just thought it was really cool design. Came with a nice little tube case and uh, a few different tensioners. I got a couple of those sets. The only thing they can't, they're somewhat rough, but still lots of good pick profiles, very useful. Then they started releasing various credit cards. There was a couple different ones that I know were released. I think this was their first in 2009 this came out. It's a lot thicker than the Last Hope pick set. It's also really useful because it has these holes. You can put them on a keychain. It's really good quality steel. I like the Tool logo. I think that's why I really collected these is because of the, the logo. I just like that. I have this little case. I want to say this is their newest or latest version that's still available. They included the Wicked Waves. So a few different profiles on this one. So this was, I think they're 2.5 and this is the 3.0. 3 so you can see the difference. They also came out somewhat kind of a limited time. They had this pick set on their website. I wish they still had it available. I, I really feel that this is a good quality pick set. Really good steel. And very useful profiles. I don't know why this one was discontinued. It's a lot like 
the Last Hope pick set here. The steel is just a little bit different, um, but this was quite a good set. They still offer the Wicked Waves, which are various Bogota-style rakes. Again, these are stamped on both sides, really high quality steel. These are very, very useful. Really like those. And then one last thing, for, for some reason they got rid of this case. They had it temporarily on their website, and I really like this case. So it's got the tool logo, it's nice heavy leather. It's also got like a little back pocket. They should really think about offering that again. But yeah, lock picking is uh, probably one of the most useful hobbies that you will ever learn if you don't already. I've used it when I was in the military. I used it even today's world. It also is pro it's good problem solving. It makes you visualize mechanical systems when you're trying to solve various problems and you can attribute it to the inner workings of how locks work. So it's a fascinating hobby, very addictive, and it's relatively inexpensive. You don't have to go with expensive tools. These were relatively cheap. The tool.us website has various ones for good price and that's all you really need. I got a little carried away because I'm kind of a collector of things. I have many different interests, lockpicking being one of them. And I wanted to share all of the tool pick sets that I've collected thus far.